Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we're going to discuss about how you can change your PHP version. So right now I have already installed uh, PHP in my system. Let me show you. Um, here I'm going to type which is a PHP version. Okay, so first of all, you need to check uh, which PHP version you have in your system. So right now I'm using Mac machine. So you can check in my system having a PHP 8.08, .08, right? So also like you want to check which path we we using, right? So you can type a PHP, uh, which PHP, right? This command you can type and you can check we have this path, right? And uh, now we need to change the path, uh, whatever path we have. And so where we need to change the path, um, I have already written one block, so you can check everything, so whatever is still is there. So if you're using the best profile, right, then you need to uh, open, use this command and you need to open this one and you need to run the last one, which is a source uh, for the activations, uh, validate the, we need, suppose we have added this one and um, we are using this one base profile and inside of the, we added these lines of codes for the changing the PHP version. And, uh, but here, what you need to do, uh, suppose once you added this one, then we are activating this, uh, you know, uh, this file. And then you can check the after this version, right? So in my system, having the JIT SHRC, so how you can run this one, sudo nano, like, so this way you can use uh, like a JIT SRC, JIT SHRC, right? SHRC, right? sudo nano, just hit whatever password you have and you can change directly like uh, from there only suppose i want to change the version which is a 7 point sorry php 7.3.29 okay so let me confirm the first of all um look we have right the 7.2.9 right and once you change this one just close the terminal uh, save this file and then what you need to do you need to activate this one right so type here source space this one now check which php version we are using right so this way you can change and also and uh, one more thing so if you add it and you want to change from there like a map version so what you can do you just need to go inside the map and open new tab inside we have the map folder we have the bin and here we have a uh, php and whatever version you have just uh, underscore you can put or you can change the name so this way we have uh, changed the version right from there and we added only the two which is a php 7.3.29 php 8 so here this way also you can change the php version okay just put this only two um, versions whichever you have and uh, in, after that you can check the drop down we will get and whatever version is suitable for you you can change this right so this way you can change and um, again suppose you want to again the same version again what we can do sudo nanojit and, uh, and uh, here you can type a zero php version we have like a 8.0.8 right and save this again and again you need to run the source one and check the version now again uh, we change the version right so this way you can change and guys if you're looking the good uh, domain and hosting plan so you can go to do the domain uh, and any any domain you need uh, so you can search directly whatever domain you need okay so this way you can check and look the price also is there and uh, currency you can change from there in the drop down suppose right now you're in india so you can change and in us and euro you want you can select the drop down and uh, you can check uh, the price as per the domain suppose you want to dot com then you need to pay for the 649 dot in you need to pay the 639 something so xyz you need to pay 70 so it depends on the your requirement you can change uh, check and also the hosting plan basically is really good and i'm using from the long time so this is my personal experience uh, look the ssd storage also they're providing free ssl certificate cloud storage seo tools and the plan is starting from the 59 rupees per month only and uh, depends on the, your requirements suppose you want the single hosting then you can select this one and you want a single hosting but a limited plan then you can go for the personal and if you're having a three website then you can select for the silver plan and advance as per you have the multiple website and you want to host for the limited hosting this is for you right and if you having any kind of doubt any problem so you can talk with them the 24 into 7 support they will provide you they will assist you right so if you have any other questions let me know definitely i will create a separate video for you thank you for watching this video